Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we have seen how to create a real world scenario with a ramp up, steady state, and ramp down. All right. And in this video, let's consider another scenario. So, the application that we are sim simulating is a e learning application. As you notice, that in this e learning application, we can browse lesson, student can attempt a quiz, and student can submit an assignment and student can participate in a discussion forum and students can um, you know update the glossary okay so these are activities that that can possible so don't you think that uh, here is a kind of a very valid scenario and in this scenario what's going to happen is that let's say this is a time t is time t and this is a number of users so the the teacher asks the students to first uh, learn from the books so that means they are going to do the browse lesson activity and let's say they do the browse lesson activity for one hour and after the browse lesson activity finishes the teacher assign them to attempt the quizzes okay so after the browse lesson is finished then the, the, the student all 20 users are going to um, you know uh, attempt the quiz okay so this is kind of a scenario where like this is 20 so this is the browse lesson and then this is the quiz uh, attempts okay so how do you using so using load runner controller how can you achieve this kind of scenario so let's take a look so let's start the controller and and let's create a new scenario and go to manual scenario and then what are you going to do we're going to add browse lesson you add and let's say okay Right. So this is the scenario and then I'm going to add another group, another uh, thing called quiz, right? Say quiz attempts. Okay. So this is what you know we have by default. And if you see in the scenario schedule, we have an option called group. So let's click on that. And when you click on the group of group option, so look there are different kinds of you know different types of action came into picture. So this is again I recommend you to just try various kind of options and see what you are getting in the interactive schedule graph. And if you know basically first draw in your you know first draw your drawing board what kind of scenario that you are going to have. Then basically open the controller and start playing with it. Okay. And you know whenever you satisfy with your graph in the right so that is a scenario that you are going to run. Okay. So here so basically I'm going to click on the group and then then select this if i select the browse lesson notice that we are showing the group schedule for browse lesson okay and here like you know what i'm going to do we are uh, start the scenario immediately then initialize all v users before it runs and then start 20 users right so this is what we discussed that we are going to start 20 users and then so let's go uh, you know whatever the default uh, you know uh, ramping up time it's, it's showing so let's start two users in every 15 minutes okay so let's apply and if you see this is how your graph is going to look like so you are going to start the browse lesson at time t is equal to 0 and at this time at 2 minutes 15 seconds all your 20 users are up and running and i want to run for an hour right so let's run for an hour and Let's run for an hour. Okay, so this is how it is. Notice that all the view users are going to stop in this pattern. Five view users in every thirty seconds. So therefore, it's all stopping. And if you then, so this is the schedule for the group called Browse Lesson V2. So now let's click on the quiz attempts. And if you see the quiz attempts, this is the schedule for the quiz attempts. And what is our option? Is that we need to start the quiz attempts at this time okay after one hour three minutes 45 seconds currently the way it is happening it is happening the quiz attempts group is starting immediately at the scenario begins so therefore all those users are starting here so that is not going to happen we need to change this thing double click this then you will see an option here start when v user when the browse lesson v2 finishes okay so let's apply so now like you no know, so now we move the quiz attempts after the browse lesson so that is what we intended to do anyway right browse lesson and then the quiz attempts 
so now let's go change couple of more parameters and we need to start 20 users that's what we we discussed right we need to start 20 users and let's go to two users in 15 seconds let's apply and after that we're going to run for one hour right so let's run for one hour and okay so now this is the script this is the scenario that you have you have so now let's save this scenario as group scenario right so let's save this scenario as group scenario so now we have the scenario ready and if you run this thing now you are going to have exactly what we discussed in this uh, drawing okay so it's going to start browse lesson finishes 20 users then run the quiz lesson so this is the way the the so this is how you can develop a so this is how can you schedule a scenario using group either you can do scenario you know a, a using a scenario or you can do using group so basically what my recommendation here is again just play with whatever this kind of you know whatever you see here and in the right hand side you will see visually what is the schedule graph if the schedule graph is looking like whatever you really intended then you can uh, you know you know go ahead so here's another thing that i want to bring to your notice that if i go to the browse lesson group i can start the group start the group immediately or i can also give a delay here okay so if i give a delay here like you know let's say after say say let's say after one hour right after, so this is a time when the scenario starts for one hour there's nothing no activity and then we are going to have a uh, browse lesson then the quiz lesson so this is how basically using this kind of parameter you can just make a, a big, you, can, you can simulate different kind of scenarios thank you